crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. The bridge at Deception Pass. The views are incredible. You can see all the way to Mexico, but only if you look down at the extraordinary bedrock below the bridge. Bedrock that formed in a deep ocean, then was added to Mexico, and then made the long journey to northern Washington. Look at this stuff. Kind of looks like ribbon candy, doesn't it? It's rock. Up to 160 million years old. This stuff is from the deep ocean floor from the age of the dinosaurs. These chert layers are made of silica-rich skeletons of tiny, single-celled organisms called radiolaria. They float for about a month in the ocean before they start sinking. Like diamonds deep in the earth, the silica skeletons face incredible pressure from the thousands of feet of water overhead. As a result, the tiny skeletons are transformed into chert bands, silica-rich rocks that tell a deep ocean story. Is it possible that these rocks were accreted in Mexico and then sent north almost 2,000 miles? Up until pretty recently, we, we basically had paleomagnetic data. There weren't good geologic arguments for um, where these rocks were. And, and secondly, how do you get them up 3,000 kilometers along the coast? But, but now, just in the past several years, detrital zircon work, where workers from University of Calgary and elsewhere have, have analyzed samples of the Nanaimo group, which is part of the San Juan Islands, and found that the detrital zircons very likely were eroded from granitic rocks at the latitude of Los Angeles, the Mojave Desert. And so I think now this has caused a, a resurrection and interest in the Baja BC hypothesis because it is a completely different line of evidence that you could use to argue and support. And the evidence comes in all shapes and sizes. Exotic looking bedrock like this all up and down the west coast of North America. Granitic mountains with a tropical paleomagnetic signature all the way down to little single grains of zircon minerals that are new kinds of evidence that tell us that rivers long ago in Mexico traveled over bedrock like this. It's now clear to many geologists that everything in western Washington that's older than 50 million years ago was part of this Baja BC movement. Anything younger than 50 million? The Cascade, the lavas of eastern Washington, the Ice Age floods, that's homegrown. Deep ocean rocks that not only made it to dry land, but also got sent packing almost halfway to the North Pole are just another reason to enjoy Deception Pass State Park.